It is pre-conference day. The first person up today is Juan Bernard. Let's talk about him and what Danny says. Hello and welcome to the video. I hope you're all doing well. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit on notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So, Chevy Wednesday have got the situation where we are going to Millwall at the weekend. There might be a transfer window going, but we still carry on with the day to day running of the club. So, we still got this whole situation with the pecky little transfer window to go. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Bernard speaking to the start said, everyone knows the reputation of Millwall, Millwall, uh, Millwall. I'll leave that one like that. I'm excited to go down there on it because it means loads of my family can come and watch me play, which they can't always do. So that's always a positive. We know what Millwall bring. We know the quality that they have in their team and the quality of some of their players they have have. It's going to be a good game, a good battle, but I'm really confident that we can get the three points. And this is interesting. It's interesting to see that he's confident he confident I'll get three points, which is good. It's not just Millwall, this is anywhere. Uh, you can't hear too much of the fans. You just concentrate and you only hear what your teammates are saying. Maybe if, if there's a throw in and you go and take it take it, you hear something, but mostly you can block it out. You can hear them in the warm-up. And that's the thing. It's a very hostile place, uh, Millwall. It's been known to be. And recently, the Owls has had a mixture of young and experienced players playing there previously. It's going to be interesting to see how we get on. But he also kind of points out that Barry Bannon's data to the former Palace player will not help e either. To be honest, they always are on Baz. We're all right. It's him that has to deal with it, but it should be all already want the whistle blows i don't know why ben bannon tend to just get the brunt fans are always going to hate the best player in the opposition team uh you saw a little bit of grim be giving some of it and he thrives off it and that's the thing i think that's the thing i think some players thrive off the being hated monocle by rival fans i think it gives them an extra boost in how they're going to play and how they're going to go about that game and we've got to be aware of that but they've not had a bad transfer window um, they went and got uh, the young lad from Not County. I say young, he's 26. But it'll be interesting to see what happens. It looks like they're about to get a Cardiff midfielder on loan as well for the rest of the season. So they're getting bit of their transfer window done as well. So let's see what happens. It can be interesting. It's very interesting having a transfer window that ends on the Friday because you want to get any players that you want to use for that game in today or by 12 p.m. Uh, Friday, because anyone else you can't use. But it'll be interesting to see what we do in the game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Millwall have not been great with uh, clean sheets of late, so maybe that's something we can take advantage of. That being said, neither have we. Uh, we need to use this again to, like, not kick on, but, like, go into the transfer window and the end of the transfer window, sorry, that's just done and the start of the international break going into that going right we got six points out of two four four games i think it is so it'll be interesting to see what we do but let me know what you think on that one and yeah i think bernard always speaks really well i like when bernard gets interviewed he's got a kind of good personality about him so yeah Let's see how we get on. So Danny press conference, he got asked about philo philosophy again and how these play. Each time they change, they change it sometimes for stronger teams, but it says the same thing as always as they go forward, which is good to hear. That's basically what he's echoed pretty much all week after the Grimpy game, saying, I'm not going to change it. We're going to play from out from the back. He said, we've got to get the basics right and work on what teams are pressing us well and with things like that you have to have a different challenge so different teams will do different things he said he's all about ready to go he said he'll see about it at the weekend uh he said him and low work well a lot there was good movement in the goal and he moved well and him and low's link up play was really good uh going forward uh they were asking if they would play a four two four two uh anytime soon for start for the game he said each game is different. Some games you'll start it. Some games you wouldn't. It depends what you change and go about it. Now, he spoke about Masaba because the question got 
brought up about Masaba and about how he want to see him have an end product. And same for Gasama. They want end product from it. It's what they've been working on and speaking about. It's all well and good of them getting down the wings and stuff, but there's no end product in terms of mainly uh, shots at times. But I think more so he wants it more in the passing lanes kind of thing to get forward. Uh, transfer window... It, if we were going to be busy, then we'll see what happened. The last 24 happened. Uh, 24 hours, we'll see what happened next. But uh, for one more player, we'll see if it does materialize. I think he was very cautious about not saying anything about if any players were coming or not. He said it's been a good window. They've made huge steps in rebuilding the team going forward. And they need to get the process. And the process was really good to get it done early. Charles uh, saying, saying uh, they spoke about Bailey going out on loan and said he needs 13 football and that's what he was in meetings about it. So it's good to see. He spoke about Smith saying he trained uh, this morning and he'll train tomorrow. Uh, and he said, we'll see what happens come the end of the window. He won't say yes. He won't say no if there was a move happening uh, at all. But he said all the business, he pretty much wants it to it sounds like he was saying he wants all the business to be done now like he, he thinks it's all done and dusted um so yeah it was interesting it was interesting to see what they do he said the Kanamadri Kanamadri with the team was good he said that uh the team spirit's up there and it, they got a good group there he don't bet for new players which is good to hear he says Shay ready to start uh he asked if he was ready to start or not uh, and he basically went, he's not sure. He'll see what happens, uh, how he does. He's got good movement. He's a good player. But interesting wording here. He fought for this signing to happen, which is really interesting. He fought to bring this player in. That said, Danny kind of gone, I want him. And Chanter gone, okay, we'll make it happen. Uh, spoke about injuries. Not so good. Uh, we have a video on the channel already uh, talking about it. But Chalaber has picked up a, another injury it's calf injury he went for a scan it's not come back good uh he has got to have some more time out of the quad it'll be a couple of weeks before he's back another slight injury on domi uh which is again not great they'll see what happens they're gonna assess that one close to time uh would you keep him in or leave him out the quad i'd like you to know uh I, I personally think we need more players at the back anyway. Uh, he said last time he was in the office till about half 11 in January. So he probably see what happens there. Um, he spoke about starting. The question got asked by Alex Miller. Do you like it starting early or do you like it starting late? He said, it, can, it, it sometimes if you start early, you can get all your business done and dusted and then the window shuts. But if you then have injuries or halfway through that period where the window's shut, you can't make get players in where now you can get players in. He said sometimes it goes, sometimes it goes. We started out early. Um, he got asked about player mindsets on deals and stuff and basically got told, but he basically turned and said to Jones, look, mindsets will be better once the window's done because people know where they are. And I thought it was a really good press conference. He looked very relaxed, but he didn't give anything away. He gave nothing away. Uh, and I think Danny's learning that, that you can't just, go in and be as open as he's been in the past. Uh, but he gave nothing away in terms of players, in terms of what's getting done. He will be happy to just be talking about the football and not the transfer side of things. Um, if a player goes on their radar, I think they'll have a look at it. Um, but um, he, made it very, he made it sound like we're not doing much more business now. He did make it very much sound like we're done. If a player comes up that's on our radar, we'll try and get a deal for him. But that's about it. He did make it sound like we were very much done. So, interestingly, uh, I don't know how people are going to feel about it in the comment section. Let me know. But let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it and everything. But, yeah, interesting press conference.